All right, y'all. So right now I'm on the Instagram page. I'm just scrolling through and we're going to show you today how to make a post. But there's some other things we have to go through before we get to the actual making a post and doing things like that. So right now you can see I'm just on the Instagram homepage scrolling through and it is pretty easy to navigate it. It's got a great user interface, which I love. And right there, as you can see, I'm just double tapping. You know, when you tap the screen twice, that is how you like a photo. You can also like a photo from just hitting the heart in the left hand corner. And it's pretty easy. That's just how you show your appreciation for someone on Instagram. You just do the whole double tap and, you know, that's the way to go. So now if you want to comment something, you click the little comment button that they have and you can go on and you have anything you can comment. You can see, you know, the keyboard comes right up for you to be able to comment something that you would like to do. And yeah, here are the comment section. And as you can see, there's a lot of different things. So right now we're just going to type out something generic or something like that. This is the um, Columbus University's Veterans Day post. So we're just going to type something like, we are so grateful for your service, something like, along the lines of that. So we can really show our gratitude for this post. And as you can see on the post, you can do a lot of things in the comment section, which is pretty fun, which I enjoy. Um, its user interface is really nice and capable of accomplishing a lot of things just in the comment section alone and it kind of creates a nice thread so you can put a hashtag so as you see me typing the hashtag i'm going to do hashtag salute and it'll look for different hashtags that'll come up so when you submit this comment everything that's underneath that hashtag it'll tag right under that that's just a form of tagging and kind of a way you're able to you know really show off how to do this so um, we're just going to try another one. So hashtag salute to service, hashtag salute, hashtag grateful, thankful, you know, a lot of different things. You can see the different hashtags that come up. Hashtag salt bay, <laughs> pretty popular meme back in 2014 and so on and so forth. So you can actually choose a hashtag if you want. And underneath, it shows you how many posts has been under that post. So like you see Royal Salute had a lot. It had like 27,000, you know, I mean, 27. 279,000 so it had a lot of different tags on it right now I'm also just typing in some emojis you know it's pretty easy they have the emojis right up there for you which is really nice you're able to go through and look through any emoji you would like to and so right here is I'm going to show you like you can um, send any Instagram post to another person so right now let's pull it up I want to send this Clemson post to my CUSG, I did it and I was able to send it right there. It's pretty easy. You can also comment right from there, right underneath it. So you can still see the photo and not go directly in the comment section. So I'm just typing thanks, a little thing like that. And I'm like looking for an emoji. And as you can see, you can use any type of emoji, which is really cool with Instagram. And I think it's really, really a helpful tool when you're making comments. And as you can see in the captions, of different things it's the little words right underneath a lot of companies and a lot of people use um different different things and different emojis to convey their messaging it's a really form of digital media and because emojis are so prevalent with everything that we do and so right now i'm just kind of going through double tapping that's the story stuff up there which i will touch on later but yeah we're over here we're on the explore page the explore page is chock full of things you can switch channels for more posts as you can see and you can go to look at which different thing is catered to you so they got a ton of different options they got decor so if you're looking for home and garden type stuff hgtv style things you can go on there there's a style one speak of the devil which i, which I just said you can go look at different hair stuff and they have different things related to style, luggage, suitcase, and food. And the cool thing about it is the related hashtags. So you can click that button and all these really cool food videos will come up as well as post and pictures. And you can click on a certain um, related hashtag to kind of go along with it, which I think is really fun. And so here's the one curated for me. As you can see, it's got some Clemson stuff since it knows I, goes to Cl I go to Clemson, it's picking up on that. You see it, um, it's pulling up the Clemson Prez, some stuff about Trevor Lawrence, you know, it's got some bar stool, game cops, because, you know, it's no, it knows I'm in college and I usually post from Clemson University. So it's going to give me suggestions for things that I would like. And that's what's great about Instagram. It's curated for you and it's curated to see what you would like to see. And that's how the algorithm works on there. And as well, now we're going to get into the search bar up here as you can see that but it's really really cool so right now like i said suggest the stuff and i suggest some things so i'm just looking through some profiles 
And here's how to utilize the search option. It's really cool. You can go on anything. So right now I'm pulling up Clemson basketball, the men's page, and I can just kind of scroll through and see what's on there and see what's going on. And I can go back as far as I want to. They've got a bunch of posts, 2,000 posts, but I can go all the way back if I want to. So I just follow them. And when you follow them, more suggestions will come up specifically for you. So it seems that I follow Clemson a men's basketball. It's giving me it taste suggestions. It's giving me TigerNet, which is a sports blog. It's giving me Sports Center. It's giving me the Clemson men's soccer. Because I'm following the Clemson men's basketball, I am more likely to follow these other really, really influential accounts, which I think is a super, super useful tool when I'm talking about curation and how it's curated to you. I think it's really fun how we're able to do that. So now we're going to go over to Clemson football. We can scroll through there and we can look at their profile and it shows, you know, what's on there specifically. And it shows the different posts that we can look at, which I think is pretty fun to look over and they have a nice layout and things like that. So we can gonna, we're going to go back and look through some more different profiles, but just by me typing in C L E, I already have a bunch of stuff to pop up. So right over here. Now we're going to our tag section. Tag section is any hashtag. So hashtag means to be able to tag um, a certain place, certain someone, anything like that. Hashtags can be created from anyone. There's popular hashtags and there's also not so popular hashtags as well. So there's a variety of different ones. So right here, you can see if you go to places because I clicked on Clips University, that's the place where I'm at. It has its own curated hashtag for the university, which is really cool. So any post that was underneath the location Clemson University comes up right there, which you can see. So if you're trying to find anything, trying to find different posts that people made from like here, Memorial Stadium, if you want to see all the really cool game day posts from the last game day at Clemson, there's your place. It is chock full of things. We can also go in and just see everyone who put hashtag Clemson in any description or any different caption that they put on Instagram. There's any videos that feature hashtag Clemson, and here's all the things. Do you remember that post from earlier? As yes, you can see that we saw it on our um, profile, our homepage, as well as seeing it right in here because it utilizes hashtag Clemson. I think it's just a really nice, useful tool to be able to find things. It has a top section, so it shows you all the top posts, the most liked ones, the most impressions on it, the most people have seen it. It also has the recent ones. So if someone just uploaded something five seconds ago, hashtag-wise, you are able to see it, which I think is pretty cool. So it's a really, really nice tool to be able to go over and to be able to look for. So now we're going to go over to the new username section this just debuted in 2018 you can see i'm just working on my laptop here um, at home but you can go to your own name tag for any different thing that you have so this is basically a qr style code that it'll give you and you can change the color of it you can change up all the different things about your certain username so you're not changing your username specifically but you are changing the way it looks to certain people so it's kind of like a snap code if you've seen that before with snapchat so if you're looking on here and you want to add someone very quickly you can just pull this picture up scan it take a picture of it and you will automatically be able to follow this person or the account which is very useful in a variety of situations the fun thing about it is you can play with the colors and all these colors are underneath the instagram brand guide all these colors if you go on instagram's website will be under the instagram color palette and they have these specific tools and these specific colors that you're able to click through and go along it which i think is really nice so you can share that as well we can save this image if we wanted to saving it makes it easier so for a shareable thing you could do you could also email it to yourself you could print it out copy it and you see right there i could even um airdrop it to people if i wanted to i can mail it i can add it to my notes you know but i'm just going to save the image right now so when i'm going along hanging out with friends and they want to um you know send me some stuff or want to try to follow my Instagram, I'm able to pull it up right there for me. English3120, that's the Instagram. You can also play with it selfie style and add some stickers to it, which I think is a, a really fun aspect as well. And you can just tap to add it. Hey, that's me waving. What's going on, y'all? Um, I'm just right here, you know, just waving in the little selfie part, which is cool. So they've got the emoji part, as, I, as you saw a little bit earlier. So there's a lot of fun things how you can play around with this new username feature. And Instagram is really trying to push this out for shareability reasons in, in order to compete with Snapchat and their snap code, which is so easily accessible and so nice. 
right here, we're going to go on the like page. So right here, we have some more suggestions for people to follow. And it gives us a lot because it knows the people that we follow and it looks at our followers and tries to see that. You can see the comments. Someone, one of my friends left me a comment and found this page, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and you're able to go through and follow people from here. It makes it pretty easy to do it pretty fast instead of just going straight into the profile which is nice to do. So you can see one of my friends actually, Julie, followed me. Um, so you're able to pull up different things like that and it will show you different things. So now we are going to post. We are here on our post page, the grand finale, the thing we've all been waiting for. And look at some of my past posts. That is a video that I pulled up when I was working on Raid 2. Um, it's crazy how we're already in Raid 4. And this is also to the side. You can see how to save a picture. So I'm saving it. It pulls up right in my archive, which is really nice. And I like to like to do that. So right now we're about to try to upload a picture. So right now your whole camera library comes up, which I think is really awesome. So like any past pictures, any past photos, um, I was um, taking pictures of my book, anything like that you can put on here. So right now I'm really excited about the night game that we have upcoming for Duke. So I took a screenshot of it and I want to post that to my followers and to my friends. So right now you can play with so many different filters on Instagram. Filters are Instagram's mainstay and that's where they get a lot of their stuff from. And you're able to really go along and look at the different filters that you're able to play for. But now looking at it, I want to kind of choose a better photo. I think it'd be nice to get an actual quality photo of me. And so now when you're editing the photo, you can look at any of these things. So you can kind of sharpen it. You can make it a little lighter or darker. If you want to go to the vignette, the sharpen feature, uh, the sharpen feature, excuse me, you can do that. The tilt shift, you kind of tilt it a little bit, make sure the shadows and stuff are in the correct places as well. Um, and right now we're playing with the shadows some more. You can just kind of make it to how you would like it specifically and in terms of color you're able to change up all the colors you know they have a lot of different things and make it warm that's another thing you can do as well as adjusting it so if you want to kind of adjust it and make it to your perfect liking and kind of adjust it and make sure it's all nice you can do that as well and it changes by the degree angle so it's got some math involved with it which is really nice so if you have a certain degree angle you want to look like you can do that and so now we are going to go in and make a post. It looks good. We like it. So let's type in hashtag Clemson. Hashtag Clemson Career Closet. This is actually an initiative a senator worked on, which is pretty fun, that I had a photo shoot to do. And so right now, that is the hashtag Clemson Career Closet. And hashtags, you will see later that you will be able to have this tagged anywhere like we were um, going over earlier. And so you can hit the return button inside of the captions, which is so great. So you're able to mess around with some things. If you want to have a big space or a big gap or something like that, I think it's really fun to play around with. So just trying to come up with the easy caption to do. I'm going to say something like me and Seth hanging out, you know, trying on some clothes, something along those lines, something easy that we can um that we can post because captions they can be very long like captions have no limit per se you're able to go on for paragraphs and paragraphs if you would like to but a lot of times the most efficient way and i think the best way to tell a story on instagram is through shorter captions you're really able to captivate your audience in a shorter time and i think it's very important to remember who your audience is when you're posting an instagram post so um, we're showing the Clemson career closet and I'm just saying me and Seth are getting ready for put a couple exclamation points. You know, I could put an emoji in there. Um, I don't think I do right now, but I just want to utilize that hashtag so I can tag people in it. So I'm going to actually tag my own personal account, which is nice. And so when you click it, you'll be actually be able to access my personal account, which is nice. Add a location to it. Look into all different locations that we could add to it. But I think I want to go with Clemson University. And, you know, I'm going to untag myself from, from now. And now we're going to post. And bam, as you can see, our post has been posted. And we are now a live post on Instagram. That, folks, is how you post an Instagram picture on Instagram. Yeah. And look at that.